Let me ask you something. Have you gone even one day without looking at a screen in the last few years? That's something that I asked myself a couple days ago, and I ended up doing it yesterday. I took yesterday to just not look at any screens. I called it Screen Free Sunday. And here's what I learned from it. First of all, I felt like I had so much time because I wasn't distracted by that constant stream of social media and text messages and email and all of those notifications that we get from our phone or when we log on to the Internet. So I felt like I had a lot of time on my hands and it was a beautiful thing because I did a lot of stretching, journaling, writing. I wrote some poetry. I did a lot of reading. I took a long walk outside. So I was able to do so much and it was at such a relaxed pace that it just kind of reset my entire being. Because in this society today, nowadays we're so stressed out and we're so busy and that's a constant state of stress. We rarely get though those moments to just chill out and relax or move at a slow pace because we're constantly getting distracted and having our attention on so many different things and it's completely exhausting. So it felt so recharging to do that yesterday. And there are so many things that you can do and there's so much awareness that you can have regarding the simple things. There's so many things in the moment. And when you let your mind have some space, if you give your mind space at all, solutions arise to things that you never would have thought about when you're constantly distracted. Like, I came to a lot of realizations regarding various things. One thing, as an example, being how I was tweaking my lower back a little bit because my lower back was not really hurting that much, but it just felt a little off for a couple of weeks. And I basically solved that just by giving my mind some space to think. So <laughs> that was really cool. And another really awesome benefit to doing this, it's, it's a benefit of taking any breaks from anything, is you pull your perspective back enough so it doesn't become mindless or it, it doesn't become compulsive behavior. So every time I do this, I, and I haven't done the screen-free thing for a whole day so far, but I do it periodically, like sometimes at night, I'll, I'll not look at a screen or for a certain period of the day. But the more you do that kind of stuff where you take a break from something, you establish a more acute awareness of it. So after you do that, you're going to mindlessly pick up your phone and look at it less and less and less. You know how most people do that? They'll just, if they're bored, which is after five seconds, they'll just pick up their phone and look at it like, they're going to be entertained by something, or if they're in an elevator, first thing they do is look at their phone. So it, it acts as a pattern interrupt for that. So you don't just compulsively check your phone, or you don't compulsively log on to Facebook and just scroll through the news feed, because we all know where that leads. Like, we've all done this. Like, a half hour later, we're like, what just happened? What did I do for the last half hour? So it prevents that, and it gives you more mindfulness around it. So you become more in control of what you're doing instead of mindlessly doing things based upon compulsion or routine. So I love that aspect of it because I'm pretty diligent with my time. I like to keep my inner peace. I like to get a lot done. So I have to balance those things out. I don't just want to mindlessly scroll through Facebook the whole day. But that's just me. If you want to mindlessly scroll through Facebook all day, feel free to do so. I won't judge you, but that's not what I want to do personally. So I challenge you to do a screen-free day. Like for everyone, it would probably be the best to do it on, on the weekend because we all have obligations regarding that our phone and computers and emails, you know, we need to use that during the work week. So on the weekend, challenge yourself to go a day without screens. And it is massively beneficial. Like, what these words that I'm saying, they don't do it justice. You have to experience it for yourself. You have to give yourself that space and then see the benefits for yourself. So I challenge you, do a screen-free Saturday or Sunday next weekend. All right? That's all I got. All right, peace, peace, much love, and one love, baby.